here we're we're taking dirt out to put a retaining wall as you can see the house is really high compared to the low spot here so we're gonna have to split it in the middle and we're gonna do a uh, a retaining wall that way you have a top bed and drop down to a, a lower bed and so it'll help retain the house as well retain the soil around it that way they're not having to fall down a hill so you'll have flatter surfaces and it'll just be terraced you know but yeah so we're getting that going front yard is almost all level we're going to be putting irrigation in here so the customer is going to do a few things himself like the flower beds and stuff up by the house but all we're going to be doing is just coming in and putting irrigation coming through later and putting some fescue grass seed in so we can't do that now it's too hot fescue here needs to be planted in the the fall time when it's a little cooler so we're gonna get it all prepped at least and then that way all we got to do in the fall is come in hydro seed and the fescue down So we got the trenching done this morning. We're gonna be filling in, uh, be ready for concrete. We still gotta put rebar in there. It's coming along, pretty long trench. Pretty deep trench, but of course it's gonna be for a footing for the wall. So by today we'll have it all prepped and ready for uh, Monday since today's Friday. So ready for Monday for the concrete truck. So any rate, we still got work to do here anyways. So we're running the water line. The guys already got it pushed through concrete so it's under got that under and start dropping irrigation in morning we're gonna be resetting this artificial grass it was laid on top of dirt so we're gonna come through reset it for this customer get it all smoothed out get it on a crusher fine base yeah that way the kids can have a nice smooth play area to walk on What's up, YouTube? We're here. We are putting in uh, these rolls of grass. The thing that happened is when they originally put it down, they did not, did not level out the ground. So we're coming in here, we're leveling out the ground, we're putting it back in so that way it's a nice, clean, flat surface. Hold on. retaining wall for this customer she wants a different level from the driveway to her back patio so
these bricks are staggered they go back about a good inch every brick so you need to stagger them as they go so that way the retaining wall uh, holds them up not straight but at an angle so that way it doesn't concave Over here, we're trying to fund grade because the homeowner wants some uh, fish to stock. So we're gonna get all this dirt out of here. We're gonna make it all nice and level so once we put grass, hopefully it looks like our neighbors are out there. So we're all done on this job here. No, it doesn't look like it because the gravel is kind of spread out halfway. But with this job, all we were coming through to do was paver patio, as you guys saw, and the retention wall. Got those two put in. That was the main work. We also did a sprinkler system in the front yard. This customer just wanted us to deliver the gravel. He was going to spread it out himself. So the guys figured while they had the tractor in here, they helped him out a little bit, got some of it spread out. Yeah. That's it, we're done with this one. We will be coming back in the future for the front yard to hydro seed it. We couldn't do that right now as it's too hot. It needs to be planted in the uh, fall or springtime. So we're gonna wait till fall, another couple of months, come back and seed that. So for now we're all done here and headed on to the next few of them. Mm.